Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about something that changed in Windows 8.1 and that might be a little baffling at first. In Windows 8 when you would go to the Windows Store and buy an app or download a free app it would show up on your start screen on the right side of the screen totally on the right side with Windows 8.1 they've decided that when you install software you no longer have automatic start screen icons or tiles and it's actually a good idea because one of the biggest problems in Windows 8 was if you install a good old-fashioned software for example Microsoft Office 2010 that I installed on this machine it would actually give you not only one but very often six seven eight nine ten fifteen icons would show up all together on your start menu that would be really annoying and um, you'd end up you know taking the icons and having to, uh, to, to delete them which was really really something bad and uh, I suffered a lot from that because I have a lot of Windows software that are not modern start menu type tiles but older type programs you install like in a Windows 7 and I had to remove a bunch of icons that would show up on the start menu so they fixed that by simply not showing up anything on the start menu when you install a new software but you can still put these icons on your start menu if you need so and that's what I'm going to show you today so you went into your Windows Store and um, you downloaded a brand new piece of software and now you um, are thinking okay um, I don't find that software anymore I'm gonna give you an example here I'll download something free um, or actually I've installed Asphalt 7 so here I've uh, and actually I'm going to review it a little later on so you download that and um, once it was installed on my PC I went to the start menu and behold it's not on my start menu it's not there on the right side but it is on the list of icons or of programs so in Windows 8.1 you can click that little arrow on the bottom left of your screen to get the full apps view and so that full app view will show you everything you have installed on your machine so here you see I have a bunch of stuff so all I have to do is simply find the software that I install so it's by alphabetical uh, order but it has a cool feature is that on the left side you see the apps that were installed um, by date earlier this week last week I changed that by date because I didn't want to have um, alphabetical order if I don't remember the name of an app for example here I know the latest ones that I've installed so all you have to do then is right click on the uh, app in that list and simply click pin to start and as soon as you do that you see that your tile is now on the start menu so that's the, the way to go now and I think it's a good way to do things because it uh, was really annoying to get all these um, icons and apps on your start menu when you don't necessarily need all of those uh, on that screen basically so that's where they go don't worry if you click or install a new app and you just don't find it go down to that little arrow on the bottom left of your screen look at the list of apps and you know if you have difficulty finding the apps because you don't always remember the exact name then instead of having it because by default it's by uh, name and change it change it by date installed and you'll see that on the left side is always the latest one and the, the latest ones are always the ones that are going to be on the list on the left side so if you just installed something you'll see it showing that it's going to show there 
So um, I think that's the best thing uh, to do. And of course you can uh, select the view by name, date, most used or by categories. So uh, depending on um, how you want to actually uh, have your apps shown to you, uh, just select what's your uh, preferred method of uh, listing all these programs. So and all you have to do then is, like I said, just right click on the software and uh, choose the pin to start in um, the menu at the bottom and you'll have your tile show up on that uh, start screen. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online and you'll be learning more and more on Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a feature, a program, something you'd like us to make a video about, uh, ask away. We'll try to make that video. And um, if you have a question, we'll try to answer it if possible. It's not always easy to answer every question because you don't have the full information all the time. And uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy our videos and that you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.